did we see in the 2024 crystal ball, certainly back in September, that on the Sunday before Thanksgiving, Bryce Young would be redeemed on the same day Caleb Williams is also? Mm-hmm. And that the fact that Bryce Young would be mentioned in the same breath as Caleb Williams' successful day when both lose as well, that's another one we didn't see coming. But Bryce Young, since his return to the lineup, you know, due in many ways to somebody what who rear-ended or, or car-swiped yeah, the Daltons, the Daltons. Yeah. right? After a school pickup. That he, got, he gets back in. And he's playing pretty damn well, guys. And I know I just went a little higher register there, but he's he's looking good. Well, this is what you thought you were getting when you took him first overall last year. Yep. Yep. You know, I mean, let me get these numbers here. Let's do this Bryce took Young. A little longer to marinate. He the, yeah. the team in his last, last four fine. starts is yeah. averaging three fine. touchdowns a game. His first two starts less than a touchdown a game. His completion percentage is over 61%. It's almost 62%. His passer rating is doubled. And in his first two starts, he took six sacks. Those are the amount of sacks he took in his last four. He's getting rid of it. He's being accurate. And the Panthers have scored 20 or more points in three straight games for the first time since the middle of 2022. And how about this? (laughs) This is unbelievable. The Panthers are the only the third team to score on 75% or more of their drives in a game against the Chiefs in the Andy Reid era, including playoffs. The only team to win such a game was Tom Brady's Patriots in Week 6 of 2018. Hmm. Chuba Hubbard's doing his thing. David Moore is scoring touchdowns. Adam Thielen is back. Carolina is not going to be a anyone's homecoming the remainder of this year, it appears. And guess what? You look at Carolina's schedule, and every single team on that schedule is on a playoff run. And if Dallas wins its next two, they'll start sniffing that way for themselves. But... Tampa, Philly, Dallas, Arizona, Tampa again, and Atlanta. Carolina may have a say in who wins the division and who makes it and who doesn't and what the seating is and who who isn't. And you'd think to yourself, every single person on that schedule earlier on this season, Tampa twice, Philadelphia, Dallas, Arizona, Atlanta, you're saying that's a win. Not anymore. Kudos to them. You in an overreaction Monday said they're not going to have a top 10 pick. In the draft. Yeah, a little bit ago. I also gave you last week that this game on Sunday was going to be a lot closer than people thought. I mean, this was a 10, 11 point spread against Kansas City, and they needed a last minute field goal, last second field goal to win. So, yeah, the current draft order for this upcoming draft Carolina is sitting at five, and Dallas at 11 is four and seven. Yeah, <laughs> they, they might not have a top 10 pick. One or two more wins, and they're right there, you know, in that 10, 11, 12 spot. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.